<laughs> What's up? Even though there's no Wait, one on. Is this on your page? It's on my page, but I tagged you in the video. Well, show up so on it my should page. show up on your your page. But um, so this is going to be uploaded on YouTube as well afterwards. So people look. on Instagram, people on Snapchat that don't hop on live will be able to watch it later on, so I kind of still got to talk like that until people hop on, but what's up, Alana? What's up, Skylar? Hey, look, it's on my page. Okay. There you go. Perfect. She says, hello, hello. Um, welcome. Uh-oh. To the very first episode. Zoe's. Zoe's at the door. Of the Cam and Court Show. Why? It looks like we're looking sideways, but I'm looking straight on. Just because the camera's right there. It's not up there. See? What's up, Cam? What's up, Donald? Mm. Um, so if you don't know, somehow... Yes, Zoe's in the background. I am Cam. Cam I'm Courtney. I'm Court. And... Oh, Court. Court. Courtney, whatever. Uh, I had the idea of doing something like this because we used to do a lot of live videos like cooking and workout stuff, and, and people seem to enjoy it. Well, um, the only reason we stopped doing that was because our internet wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, so we couldn't really... We couldn't really go live, and that kind of sucked, and I was trying to think of something that we could do that would be fun, and people would enjoy, and we could have fun with it, because we like to do crazy stuff, and, and make people laugh, and um, this is kind of based off of, like, Saturday Night Live, and, and we're not going to, like, do skits, per se, but just kind of like that premise of just, like, not taking it super serious, having fun with it. Saturday Night Live, I wouldn't quite go that Well, Well, kind of based off that, it's not skit-wise. Um, hello, guys, for, for tuning in. Hey, hey Jess. Jessica. Um, but hey, we Jeff. we wanted hey, Tyler. to <laughs> we wanted to make it fun because it's Monday night and a lot of people hate Mondays, dread Mondays, whatever. Um, or maybe Not you no don't, long. and you just have, we something have us to look, to look forward. Yes, to. you have something to look forward to. You have us. You know, you can get a laugh in. You can hang out with us and and see. So basically, What's it's gonna be. In my glass? We haven't got to that part oh. yet. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you can look forward to every Monday night at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. We'll be live sharing some funny stuff, talking. Mm. You can hang out with us. So hey, whether, Amber. You, whether you had a shitty week, good week, whatever, you know, this is always going to be fun and positive. So that's going to be the premise of the show. We're going to ask questions. We'll probably have people. Um, thanks, Jeff. Hi. We'll probably have guests on the show eventually and have hey, different people on. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what the show's about. Um, but first it's off, throwing me off. Why is it? Because the camera. Look, it's because the camera. I'm looking there. directly at my face, but I'm looking. Yeah, but the way. camera's over there. That, it's just like it. it's because twisted. But uh, we can share share a little bit about the week or what we've been what we've been up to. I mean, a lot of people fall on social media anyway, but maybe you don't know everything or maybe you didn't see. So the week, what what went on? What <laughs> it's did Monday. You, well, I know, but last week, like, what did we do? What we did you do? We worked from home. Exciting stuff. Did you do anything <laughs> fun? To go anywhere? Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't think we did anything, did we? You ran. I ran. Saturday. Strawberry Run 5K. I oh, we we helped spread bark mulch. We did bark mulch <laughs> for her mom. Hey, Melissa. Thank yes. you. Yes. Um, so that, you know, that was fun. Yeah, exactly. Um, so Strawberry Run 5K, that was pretty fun, but that was pretty much the highlight of the week was doing the, the Strawberry Run, the parade. It's kind um, of a low key week. Low key week, nothing, nothing too crazy. But shout out to to Lindsay um, Pearson, who her and her mom helped make it possible to get my grandma out of Avamir Saturday to go watch the parade with friends and family. So that was really cool, and she was super excited and in a good mood. So that was awesome. that was really cool. Um, but another thing we wanted to do with this show is kind of like we're gonna share some funny news articles of the week that I found, but also we don't like, we don't watch the news ever. Like, it sucks, yeah. <laughs> Thumbs down to the news because it's all negative and bad. You see like rape and death <sighs> and terrorists and school shootings and like it just, you watch it and you're like, oh, I feel, I feel terrible, you know? So um, we want to make this more fun and also we want to give some recognition to people every week who inspire us and who are doing awesome things in life. So I know I have a few people that I want to give a shout on here who have been kicking ass in life. So first one is Megan Moderman who ran her first 5k this weekend at the Strawberry Run 5k. Um, she looks amazing. She is a great um, representative for her family and her kids that healthy lifestyle. This is what it's all about. She rocked the, rocked the run and when we're running past each other, you know, we Gave a little shout out to each other, so that was really cool, and I'm super, super proud of her. I've known her 
quite a long time, so awesome job, Megan. And then another couple people I want to give a shout-out to is actually one of my best friends from high school and his wife, Lindsay and Chris Burby. Um, they just signed up with us to do some Beach Body on Demand workouts, and I think they've been working out. Today is like day 20 in a row they've yeah, been working out. Yeah, they're almost done with their 21 days. Yeah, so they are crushing it, and Lindsay actually was the the seven day challenge winner in our group. So she actually gets a gift from us. So congrats to Lindsay and Chris for rocking it. What's up, Tyler? Hey, Tyler. So that's the recognition I wanted to give to, to some people. Um, shout out to Alana. She was our challenge winner for my free build a booty challenge from last week. Build a booty! <laughs> it was last week, it was seven days long. Um, she said she never wins anything, so. Now she wins. Now that streak is gone. Job, yeah, Alana. she did the whole challenge, logged every day, so did a ton of other people, but she just happened to be one I picked out of the hats, this hat actually. Exactly. Um, so yeah, shout out to her, and um, basically just all the people who were in that challenge, I can name, there's so many of you, um, so I don't want to like forget anyone, so I'm not going to name Do these. awesome shit and you'll get, you might get recognized <laughs> every Monday night. So we're going to uh, pick people. Hey look, she's on! Yep. Hey, exactly. hey! So, we just wanted to do recognition, and like I said, um, there's people that motivate us, inspire us, and you know we see it, so we want to give people shout outs because it's nice hearing that you're doing a doing a good job, and that's positive, more positivity in the world. So, um, I don't know, I'm sure most of you, definitely the women, know who Chris Pratt is. He's like the oh. biggest movie star in the world right now. Guardians of the Galaxy, Parks it and Recreation. Has to be the sexy, well, not the sexiest. <laughs> Chris Pratt ain't got nothing on this. I think probably know. It'd be hard. He'll probably Chris be on Pratt. the magazine for like the sexiest man of the year yeah, or something. But whatever. But I'm unknown, so <laughs> I can't be on the cover. But whatever. Uh, but he's a cool guy. Um, super funny. And he... From Washington. From Washington. So he's Northwest boy, which is even better. But he has this thing he does on Instagram. Follow him if you don't, because it's freaking Yeah, hilarious. follow him. I think, I don't know what his screen name is. Chris it's like Pratt Chris or, Pratt Pratt. Or something. Or something like that. But he does a thing um, where it's, what's my snack? And he like gets really close to the camera and he does like voices or makes funny stuff and then he shows the snack. And that's we're funny. not going to steal that because that's Chris Pratt's thing, but Kate, was it Katie that suggested yeah. it? Um, she's like, you should do like what Chris Pratt did, what's your snack? So Maybe. Maybe, but um, we thought of doing like a different drink or what we're drinking while we're doing the live show each week, so Maybe. that is what we're going to do. And so... Courtney's going to go first because she can't keep a straight face. Oh, we're actually yeah. doing... What so am I supposed to do? You just talk about what kind of lead up the build up to what you're drinking and then you share what you're drinking. They've Why are you drinking it? They've already seen what I'm drinking. Well, maybe they don't know what it is. It could be anything. That color could be lots of things. So what are you drinking? What does it look like I'm well, drinking? Well, talk to them. Talk to What's the people. What does it peeps. look like I'm drinking? What is that? Tell them what you're drinking. Wine! And... LaCroix. La That's what I call it. LaCroix sparkling water. I don't know what it's called, but I call it LaCroix. LaCroix is French for panty dropper. Is it really? See, Stephanie Brewer says it looks like a cold brew. That would be a good guess because mm. it's dark. And that is something she drinks. I do like Wine. Chelsea brew. Wilson. That's right. It's up, delayed. Emily? It's up, Drew. I know. It's delayed. So um, she is drinking wine with LaCroix. Yeah. Don't. It's not like all wine. Wine only went about like up to here. Just kidding. She's going to be tipsy <laughs> by the end of the show, so be prepared for that. Um, but myself, I just got done running Ooh, a couple hours mm. ago in the heat of the day because I like to torture myself and run in the sunshine. Super hot, super se uh, sweaty. Whoa, you just popped, you blew a bubble out of your mouth. <laughs> she is wasted. Oh my God. She's going to be no, white, she's gonna be white girl wasted by the end of the show. There was a bubble that blew okay. out and fell. Anyway. Um, but you lose water, you lose electrolytes. Stacy, need, it's really good. You need to replenish it. So I'm drinking watermelon, strawberry flavored, superior hydration, body armor, super drink. Bam! Yeah, that's a mouthful. That's what she said. <laughs> nah. Mm, if you haven't tried body armor, I highly suggest it. They don't sponsor me, but if you're watching this body armor, I will take free What's drinks. that, like off of... Um, Wayne's World. When like, not I don't want to sell out to corporate, but it's really sad when people do that. Take two Tylenol helps with headache. Yeah, it's, it's funny. funny. Wayne's World, watch it. Um, okay, 
<laughs> so I'll probably read these because you probably can't read what my handwriting it? news stories. Well, I can't read his yeah. handwriting. So, like I said, we don't watch the news because it's horrible um, and it's always negative. I'm not drunk. She's pretty drunk. No, um, <laughs> I took some in. I drank some Energize. Oh she's, no. She's a, a Sierra Cozer <laughs> bottle. Yeah. That's Why gonna cost you. Goals if you keep watching, that's gonna cost you ten dollars. What's about to happen next? Just pay yeah. Palace. No, I drank some Energize before this, so I had and pre-workout, wine. and now I'm drinking wine. So yeah, yeah, she's gonna be doing it. So, like I said, we don't watch news, but I did search out some funny news articles that are 100% real mm -hmm. that I wanted to share with you guys because they were ridiculous. So uh, I memorized a little bit of them, so I'm gonna have to read off the cards. Oh, look at you! So I read something about a guy who went in to check on his little dog. I think he has a little dog like we have Zoe and Roxy, like a small like chihuahua type dog. He has a little dog. And its belly was bloated. And he thought that like he had that twisted stomach where like their intestines and stuff twist and you can, their dog, your dog can actually die. So his stomach was bloating up and he's like, oh my God, like my dog's gonna die. So he took the dog to the vet. This is an awful story. No, no, it's, it's fine. Took the dog to the vet and the vet was examining the dog and everything, pushed on his stomach and the dog, went, the dog went, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, your dog just has gas. Oh my gosh. So and, he, and the vet still charged him $250 for the vet fee. And all he did was push a fart out. <laughs> so the guy so, paid 250 bucks to hear his dog fart. But I wouldn't, if your dog's stomach is bloated, don't automatically think it's just gas. I mean, you can try pushing on it, but take it to the vet. Yes. I always say it to the sorry, but it's funny. Cause... It is funny. I watched a video on um, Facebook the other day, and it was this little boy, and he was, like, petting this goat, and the goat farted, and it, like, scared the shit out of him. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Okay. So, news story number two. This is funny, too. Okay. A black man... You will be white. Got his penis chopped off, and he actually had a donated penis to him that was going to get attached to him because someone had died, and they're going to take the penis off of him. Is this him, a true story? Yes, and put it on the black dude. Well, the problem was is the donated penis was from a white guy. You can't put a white penis on a black dude. I mean, it's just going to be a totally no different color. No one's going to see it except for. Well, yeah, but what is actually happening? Not only is he getting a dead man's white penis on his black body. But a tattoo artist is, is, coming, black? is going to come tattoo his penis to match the rest of his body color. What? Before they what? attach it or after? I don't know. I, don't, I, I would assume after. So it would be nice well, and Hopefully hard. they like put them <laughs> out. Because that would hurt. Yeah. I wouldn't want that. Yeah. So they're going to tattoo a cool penis. Cool story. Well, I thought that was it's better than listening to terrorist attacks. So there we go. And finally... Uh, oh god, oh, I gotta read this one. Oh god, <laughs> so this is funny. So, this is a true story, too. Okay, have fun, Stacy. Thanks for watching. Um, you'll have to catch the rest of the show after because we got some stuff we wanted to, that you might want to see and share. So, there is a three foot porn star that can only. S <laughs> what? Jeff's <laughs> <laughs> God, Jeff, now I lost my train of thought. So there's a three foot porn star. What that, is with you in like sexual that's, things? Today? No, it's, that was just what popped up. Um, that has poor circulation to where she can only stand up, like upright, like five minutes at a time, or she gets lightheaded, so she has poor circulation. So naturally, all of her sex scenes are lying down. Get it? What? <laughs> Because she can't stand up, so all of her sex scenes, she's lying down. No other positions, nothing, because she can't stand up for very long. So she's a porn star, so all of her stuff, she's laying down. What's wrong with that? No, it's just funny. Because she's like, oh, I'm getting lightheaded, we better go to the couch and lay down. I don't get it. It's just because she, she's a porn star, so it's funny because porn stars are usually laying down anyway. Because they're porn stars, but she really can't because she has poor circulation. Okay. This is funny. <laughs> See? Oh, Tarpa, you just said sexual thoughts. Women think that way, too. All right. I don't get it. Okay. That one just went... Whatever. With me. So, there's also a game... <laughs> can crack me up. She really cracks me up because she's a little tipsy right now. Um, I'm not tipsy. I'm just wired from my energized. So, lots of 
talk shows and oh, game wait. shows and stuff do something that's called two truths and one lie. Uh oh. Where somebody says three statements about themselves. Mine aren't funny. Are two is funny? no, they're not necessarily funny. Okay. Two of the statements are true. One is a lie. And you guys are going to try to figure out what the lie is out of these statements. So let me go first. Well, maybe you should go first <laughs> before you get too far gone. Yeah, why don't you read yours? I'm not even. Okay, well, prove that's not it. There you go. Next one. The no, other one? The bottom oh, one. <laughs> so how do I know you're two truths and a lie? Okay, read it. Here we go. <clears throat> two truths and a lie. She's going to read them. No Guess specific which one. order. No specific order. Guess which one is the lie. I have to remember first which one's my lie. Okay. Go ahead. Read okay. Them. Read them for the people. One, I can't burp. Two, I've never had braces. Three, I've never broken a bone. Which one is it? Two are true. One is a lie. Maybe you should read again just in case why they're thinking again. Thinking and figuring out what it is. Read them again. Read them one more time. Okay. Which is the lie? One, I can't burp. Two, I've never had braces. Three, I've never broken a bone. Which one is the lie? Hmm. Oh, look, mom hopped People on. People are saying excited. you can't burp. Candy said you can't burp. That's the lie. That seems to be the popular answer right now. Sierra Cox, what's up? We'll Thanks for joining. Him. No Broken Bones with Chelsea Wilson. Okay, okay. Let's give it a couple more seconds. One is a lie. One. Oh, this okay. seems to be number one. Okay, what is your lie? My lie is I've never broken a bone. Wow. I really can't burp, you guys. That's true. She statement. really can't burp. But I did break my wrist in third grade by tripping over the border that holds in bark chips. I thought you said you've never broken a bone. Is your lie? Oh, yeah, that's your lie because you have broken a bone. Never mind. I got it. You scared me. Yeah, no. I confused you. Yeah. Myself. So she. The I lie was she has broken a bone. Yes. But it's true, she really can't burp. She I just gurgle, wait. Yep. Oh, it's What's up, wait, Jennifer? It'll Ruth? happen. What's up, Kathy? Hear it. it just gurgles, it's not a burp. Okay, here we go. Here's mine. Oh, it went and you said Sorry. it. Sorry. Sorry. Ooh, no. Yeah. Okay. It's delayed a little bit, but we'll get into it. Here is I'm so my sweaty. two truths and one lie. Wait. That's a gurgle. She didn't burp. Gurgle. <laughs> that wasn't a good What's up, one. Lydia? Hello, Mom. Okay, Mom here we go. Two truths and a lie in no particular really order. really sweaty. As a kid, I snorted pixie sticks so I could sneeze and Mom's see different... Mom's laughing now. So I could sneeze and see different colors. A maple bar is my absolute favorite donut. And I once mountain biked naked. Two of those are true. One is a lie. And if you know me at all... This is going to be very tough to guess. Gosh. So, I, me, so let me read them again. Two truths and a lie. What's the lie? As a kid, I snorted pixie sticks to sneeze different colors. A maple bar is my favorite donut. And I have mountain biked naked. What is the lie? Guesses. Bike mm -hmm. naked, naked mountain bike. Man, people think I haven't mountain biked naked. Are you really, you really don't think I've done that? Number one, okay, got number one, okay, pixie sticks, popular, everyone's guessing number one's for both of us. Number People one. People are guessing the last one. <laughs> yeah, they all sound like truths. Yes, Sarah, see, she knows me good. <laughs> number two, Jamie, okay, pixie sticks, okay, Carrie Noel, three, what's up, Carrie? See, the donut sounds too okay. normal. Obviously, a maple bar is my favorite donut, that is very true. As a kid, I did snort pixie sticks so I could sneeze colors. So that would make that I never actually, mountain like, bike. Snort it up. Well, I would like. Snort or did it. you like shove it up? I would snort it up a little bit and then like make myself sneeze colors. Does your mother know this? Well, she will now. God. <laughs> yes, but I have never mountain biked naked. Surprisingly, did a lot of things naked. Who snorts candy to Don't sneeze out? Don't judge me. Colors. I just admitted something on here, and you're being mean. Okay, fine. So we're going to try to do that every week. So if you have suggestions. See, Carrie remembers They this. remember that? We were on the bus as East Lynn. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it is just proven from Carrie live on Facebook. Thank you, Carrie. I will buy you a maple bar next time I see you. Oh my gosh. 
So we'll try to do that again next week and come up with some new ones. Um, but well, obviously, hopefully, I need like more exciting. You need ones. more exciting ones. Um, but we also have something to where we wanted to each ask each other three random questions. Bye, Alana. Bye. See ya. Um, we wanted to ask each other three random questions and see what the response is. So I'll go first this time. Three okay, random questions first. to her, and we're going to see oh, what she says. Hopefully they're not geography, because... <laughs> Where is Europe? East. See what I have to deal with? Uh, yeah, see? Tax and mustard packets on people's chair in school, too. You did that? Yeah. You're awful. Well, it happens when you're young. Right? Okay, that's the way. Okay. I'm nervous. If you could sing one song on American Idol, what would it be? It's a long pause. <laughs> gotta keep, <laughs> gotta keep the talking. Think. Come on. What song would you sing on American Idol? Don't want to miss a thing. By, By Aerosmith. Aerosmith. That's a good song. Okay. I would. Yeah. And I'd be good at it. I don't know about that, but here we go. If okay. there was a movie made about your life, who would play you? Jennifer Lawrence. Good answer. Good answer. This might be too... I'll oh, shorten it a little I'm bit. I'm scared. You are flying to Hawaii for vacation. What are three things you have to pack when you go? Wait, okay. What, flying? You're flying there for a trip. Three things that you have Hawaii to take. Is Hawaii or on well, the Well, you're airplane. flying to Hawaii. And you're going to be in Hawaii. You're taking, you have to take... Three, <sighs> what are the three things you have to take? My Maui Babe Sun Lotion. For right. tanning, obviously. Duh. Obvi. Uh, my bikini, obviously. Bikini. And then... Ooh, so many options. I can only bring three things. Well, just three things you have to bring. Like, no matter what. Mmm... <laughs> Uh, well, I had to bring my phone for selfies and taking pictures. Okay, there you go. Now your turn. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Three random questions for Cameron. I'm focusing on the camera, so I can't <clears throat> look right on right on here. What is the worst thing you ever did as a child? <laughs> and well, what was your punishment? There are two things that are tied for the worst thing I ever did as a child. What happened first was we had an old box, like wooden box TV, and Kyler and I were messing around trying to show off for my mom's friends that were over, and I shoved Kyler from behind, he went head first in the corner of the TV, split his head open, had to go to the hospital and get stitches, I went upstairs and hid underneath my bunk bed, and I don't think I got ground or anything, my dad just like threatened it in my life and all that, and I was scared to death of him, so that wasn't like too bad. Um, and then tied with that, was a few years later, um, Jeremy, our I youngest brother. I knew you were gonna say this well, one. Well, duh. Anybody who knows us knows this story. Jeremy, our youngest brother, was maybe two. Um, yeah, he right around that age. He wasn't very young, and he was uh, very old. Yeah, he was very old. <laughs> and my dad had a rope strung across our shop because he wanted to learn how to skate. And we put Jeremy on there and pulled the rope down, launched him up to the top of the shop, and panicked. And instead of catching him, we let him hit the floor, and he hit his two front teeth. And his two front teeth went up into his gums. And we left him crying and bleeding on the floor there. We ran down the hill in our playhouse. And we got grounded. And we I think got, that tops the TV one. We got beat. Let me get, time out. Let me get Zoe real quick. Because she's annoying the crap for me. That definitely uh -huh. tops the first one. Here comes Zoe. Zoe has to be on Princess the television. Zoe. She's got to be Don't know you want some wine? No. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, so... We did some messed up stuff when we were younger, and that was definitely... Both yeah, of those were pretty... Those are the, those okay. Were pretty bad. Next. Oh, yeah. Was that number one? That was one. Oh, crap. That was only number one. Yeah. I know. I'm a horrible person. If you could trade lives with anyone for a day, who would it be? Currently? Just anyone. Whew. I would trade lives with... Any NHL player, because well. because I mean that would that was my dream growing up. So it doesn't really matter who it would be. I don't have to be the most famous hockey player or whatever. It could just be anybody. But traveling around the country and waking up and playing hockey all day every day, um, dream life right there. 
<laughs> yes, Stephanie. Yeah. She loves wine in a mason jar. Everything tastes better in a mason jar. Yeah. Okay. If a theme song played every time you entered a room, what would it be? <laughs> there is so many. Top one that comes to your mind. I'm sexy and I know it. Oh, Jesus. That was my... Or, or birthday sex. One of those, because Mikey and I used to dance I'm and really party sweaty. to birthday sex all the time. Mikey the Singer, shout out. He knows what's up. Guys, what's up, my boy? my pits are sweaty and my butt is sliding. I'm sweaty. She's, she's drunk sweats right now. Okay. It's hot in here. Here we go. What's now? What's next is, and this is even better, because she's a little tipsy. We're I'm gonna, not tipsy. We're going to play word association with Courtney. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going to say a word, and she's going to say the first word that comes to her it mind. It might be a little slow. So prepare. Here we go. Buttholes. Pleasures. <laughs> and I'm the one that thinks of sexual stuff. Okay. Next question, or next word. Caterpillar. My beautiful butterfly. <laughs> That's more than one word, but okay. Okay. Tom Cruise. Top Gun. Good. Cancun. Cancun. Mexico. That's right. I was trying to think what that was. Beach. Hat. Zoe, stop. Jelly Donut. Jeff. <laughs> That's awesome. Jalapeno. Pepper. Diddle. Fingers. <laughs> nice! That is awesome. Word association for And let's just let them be no be told, be known, let it be known. Just because I said butthole pleasures does not mean I like it. Okay. No. No butthole. He's lying. No. Okay. That was just the first thing that came to my mind because he's the one always talking stuff. So. Yeah. Um, so something we wanted to, to do because it's just more fun stuff. Just make it fun, make it exciting, make it laugh. I feel bad if there are children watching. Sorry if there's children. Um, but we want to make it interactive with you guys and let you guys kind of like let us know what you want to see and hear. So Tell yourself that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to, to message us and talk to us and like let you let us know what you want to see because we'll pretty much do anything and ask anything on here just to make somebody somebody laugh. But we also want to kind of do fun little prizes and stuff and each week. So next week we're actually gonna draw a prize or draw a name live and then give away the prize to someone. But there's a little task you have to do to have a chance to win this prize. So we're gonna do a word of the day at the end of each show, which is right now to where you have to message one of us the word of the day and then also share this live video on your timeline so other people can see it and next week everyone that messaged us the word of the day and shared our video we will draw a name out of the hat and pick a gift to send you. There will be funny gifts, some will be cool, some will be better than others, whatever, but we'll pick it out of the hat. Um, Do you don't want to say that? You want to make them sound like they're like the best well, gifts ever? Well, they're going to be the freaking best gifts ever, but um, so, again, the word I'm about to say, you have to message one of us what it is and share, <laughs> share our live video and you have a chance to win a prize next week. So, the word of the day is angina. That's Not in Canada. And, that's vagina. Shit. And vagina is a female sex organ. Yes. Reproductive. Reproductive, whatever. Sex. That's for sex. There's stuff that goes in there. There's things that come out, too. And an angina, for all you medical people, is chest pain caused by insufficient blood flow to the heart. I did not know that. And that's what angina means. Right. Supposedly. It's not a place. Or regina is a place. Oh. Yeah. Angina. Yeah. And George, we didn't do any singing. Because, we can't. Yes. Because there's, copy, exactly. there's copyright issues. Yeah. Angina. A-N-G-I-N-A. Is the word of the day that you have to message us, one of us, and then you have to share a live video, and you have a chance to win a prize. Uh, angina is A N G I N A. Angina, word of the day. So share the video, 
message us with the word of the day. Next week, you win a prize. So, we are going to do our best each Monday to go live at 6 p.m. Pacific time so it can stay the same all the time. So no matter what, no matter your week, your day, whatever, you can always look forward to some crazy, crazy laughs. If you crazy have shit. any um, suggestions on what you'd like to see, yes. we can't do lip singing. Lips, because of copyright yeah, issues. Yeah, because of copyright, so don't suggest that. Um, but if you want... Taking pics all you guys, even though no one could see. If you want <laughs> certain things on the show or whatever, just let us know. Selfie. Who is We're Brett? famous. Yeah. So, we wanted to try to keep it... I timed that perfectly. It's about a half hour. Don't want to keep you guys too long. It's like a regular TV show, half hour. Oh my gosh. But, um, hopefully you guys... Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're going to try to do some of the same stuff, but also bring new stuff each week. Like I said, we might have some other people on here eventually. Um, just more fun, silly stuff. But like Court said, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see, uh, questions you may have, like send me a question I'll that you want to ask her or, or whatever. Um, let us know. But we just wanted to bring something fun and something different. Uh, bring some positive vibes and funny vibes into your life every week. Um, but until next time, we really appreciate all you guys. Um, thanks, thanks for watching. There it is. And uh, don't forget to message us the word of the day. Share this video on your timeline. And we will see you so next sweaty. week. Bye, guys.